Hey YouTubers, this is your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my latest movie review on the newest Netflix original film, Slumberland. And before I forget, huge shout out to my good friend and buddy, Laren Dixon, for the Hustle and Lift jersey. I really do appreciate you sending me this as a birthday present. Much love, bro. And again, I can't thank you enough for this shirt. So let's get on to the review, guys. So this movie is basically about Nemo, who who is played by Marlo Barkley, who just lost her father at sea, and she is forced. She is not forced, but she has to go live with her uncle, who is kind of like a lock picker who sells doorknobs too. And it seems like. The, and the only way she can escape life is through her dreams and she enters this magical realm called Slumberland where she meets the outlaw Flip, Flip played by Jason Momoa himself. And let me tell you, this was really good. I love how like these two just bounce off each other's, bounce off each other and just really get each other's acting as well and let me tell you when she when when she meets flip she's kind of like iffy about him at first and also they are on a mission to find pearls these dream pearls in in a nightmare realm as most of you already know little nemo and everything and yes, they're on a mission to find these pearls and so Nemo can see her father again. And they run through, they kind of run into some obstacles along along the way, such as nightmares and a, a bunch of other fun things in Slumberland. So let's start off with the positives and negatives. First off are the positives. The positives I love about this movie is that it really does it really does have its really good heartwarming moments and tear jerking moments which is something we definitely need in this movie and i believe that i believe that when this when you see this movie you will have a bunch of tears rolling down your eyes and kind of have and kind of have some heart, some laughs too and another positive is, well, Marlo Barkley and Jason Momoa, these two are really great together. And Marlo, she is a young, talented actress. Marlo, if you watch, Marlo, if you watch this, kudos to you, young lady. You are a talented young actress, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for you in the film industry and what you do next. And Jason Momoa, you already know, I'm giving you a... I'm giving you a shout out to man. What good job playing this character flip and bringing your kind of like taste to your own little taste slash spin to it. You are great. You are great as well. And Jason Momoa, he really he really does play this good outlaw aka flip. Uh and he knows how like to bring his own special charm charm to the character like I said before he is just a really really great guy and Marlo along with her she really she really does bring the heart to her character Nemo she she is really going places and I love how she starts off as this shy girl that doesn't really speak to anyone but when she meets flip in slumberland she kind of like is able to get out of her shell and try to make a friend try to make a friend and that friend is flip another positive is the story and the meaning of it what what people can get from this amazing story is that well it's okay to like i know it's hard to move on but sometimes we gotta embrace 
the future in order to learn from the past. And that's what I believe this movie taught me. And I believe it's going to teach you too. And all in all, this story itself is something that everybody is going to love and enjoy and want to watch over and over again. That everyone is just going to really, really enjoy. And that's it for my positives. On to the negatives. The one negative I have is that, well, Jason Momoa's jokes. Um, don't get me wrong. Don't hate me for this. But some of his jokes do land, and some of them kind of don't. I laughed at a few of them, but all in all, there was a couple of jokes that I didn't really get. They weren't all that funny. I'm sorry, Jason. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I, I, I'm a huge fan of yours. But some of the jokes in this movie kind of didn't land that I honestly think needed some work. And another negative I have is that, well, the as most of you saw, like in the movie, the police, the Slumberland police officer was not, was chasing them throughout some parts of the movie, but she kind of wasn't in it a lot because it was kind of focusing on her. It could have been better if she was like really in the movie, like some parts, some parts, but not a whole lot. I think that... If she honestly, if she honestly really was a police officer, she would be in a, be in this movie a whole lot. That's how, in my opinion, that's how I see it. That's how I legit see it. But maybe everyone else thinks this differently. And another negative I have is that well, the CGI, the CGI in this movie, especially for Pig, Nemo's kind of stuffed animal, it was kind of bland and. Also, I think needed needed some work, but all in all, it was enjoyable and somewhat not enjoyable. I think if they worked on the CGI a little bit more, I I think it would have been a better movie. That's that's my opinion. Some of you guys have different opinions. I know that for sure. And that's it for my positives and negatives. On to my rant. What I can tell you about Slumberland is that it's a really good, interesting, family, fun movie. And it's also an, a, a live-action adaption to the 1989 movie, Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. I remember watching this as a kid back in the 1990s. And I just enjoyed, enjoyed watching it a lot. I, actually, I had to beg my mom to rent it over and over again. But all in all, this is just a great live action remake to this movie, but with its own kind of twist on it. If if you watch this movie, you will not be disappointed with how everything in this movie turned out. You are going to be so surprised with how you see this movie and seeing Jason Momoa and Marlo Barkley bounce off each other's bounce off each other's acting these two are again great people and they really have good chemistry and it's weird again it's kind of new to me we see Jason Momoa playing Aquaman and many other movies before that and now we're actually seeing him in his first comedy movie like wow this is history really history in the making because I'm looking forward to seeing him do kind of more movies like this because if if he does more movies like this I I have to say I will I will be sold on it but all in all Marlo Barkley and Jason Momoa themselves Jason Momoa they are really good actors and slut and actress but and the story itself like I said before this is just a story that's going to touch you and really have you crying your eyes out in so many ways. I can promise you this. I can promise you this. You will not be disappointed with Slumberland. When you watch it, you are going to see what I mean. Trust me on that. You are going to you are going to be really moved by who Flip is in the real world. I can't spoil it and tell you who he is in the real world. You're going to have to see that for yourself. 
and see why I say you're going to be shocked on who Flip is in the real world. And also, and also, we get to see a bunch of strange dreams in Slumberland too that everyone is going to really enjoy as well. Trust me. It's going to be it's going to be really epic and fun to watch. And that's it. That's it for my rant, guys. On to the rating. I give Slumberland a solid B. Because, like I said before, I really did enjoy this movie. Some of the jokes that were in this movie, especially with especially the jokes from Jason Moore, they kind of didn't land, but they were still enjoyable. I, myself, was laughing at some of the jokes that he had, and seeing Mar this young, talented new actress, Marlo, really play Nemo, she is a gifted young young lady, and I can't wait to see where she goes. I can't wait to see where she goes in the near future with her acting career. I'm sure it's going to be really appealing and interesting. I am I am really looking forward to seeing her blossom. But all in all, the rest of the story itself it was good. The CGI, it was okay, but somewhat not okay. They needed to work on that a little bit. But still, this movie is just one for the making that everyone is going to love and enjoy. Especially knowing that we're getting to see a weird adaption of Slumberland that we are kind of like used to. And it will make your imagination soar like crazy. Trust me, guys. You are going to be so surprised slash blown away by this movie. I know I was. And that's it for my movie review, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what you guys thought of Slumberland. Subscribe and share with everyone you know. And press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be. I will see you guys soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.